So this is based off of Jordan B. Pearson's 12 Rules for Life. Check it out. At the bottom of the sea, there's two lobsters. They're fighting tooth and nail for territory and winning. Obviously, the bigger lobster wins. But something more happens than just winning in his mind. He takes on the identity of a winner. So in turn, he gets more females, more territory, better shelter, better feeding grounds, which means he gets stronger, bigger, and he fucks all the women. Meanwhile, the loser, he talks, he takes on the identity, identity of a loser. So in turn, he has worse shelter, worse feeding grounds. He can't get any bigger. And in turn, loses and loses and loses again and again and again until he dies a sad death. So what differentiates the winner from the loser? So serotonin is basically a precursor to dopamine, which tells our mind like how happy and how satiated we are. So the big cocky asshole, the one who's big, giant, the bully at school, who fucks all the girls, the mean one. He's the one with buckets of serotonin. He's happier, more confident. He has less anxiety, less depression. He's happy. He's calmer and more outgoing. Meanwhile, it's the exact opposite for the for the scrawny kid in the corner of the class, probably shirking himself off. He's a loser. Doesn't get any bitches. He has more anxiety, more stress. He's probably really sad in depression too. This happens because life is a winner's take all world. Those who win keep winning. And in turn, those who win have better access to foods without microplastics, better homes, more money, more cars, better jobs, better houses, no foods without any like, microchemicals. <laughs> Their lives are severely improved just because they keep winning and winning and winning. But it's the exact opposite for the loser. He doesn't have any access to better foods. Everything has microplastics in it. He lives in the in the south side of town. In the, in the, the hood. There we go. The slums. And he keeps losing and losing and losing. More anxiety. Depression. Less serotonin. This happens through the fact that, just like the lobsters, when we win, we take on the identity of the winner. We keep winning. Boosted serotonin. We embody the personality and traits of a winner. So we we set up ourselves naturally for success. Meanwhile, the loser, the exact same happens to him. Except now, he takes on the personality of a loser. So slowly, he keeps coming down and losing and losing. What if I lose? What if I don't win? He stops competing at all. And he accepts, he accepts the fact that he's here. But the winner, he doesn't accept the fact that he's here. He wants to keep going up and up and up. So how can we increase our serotonin? How can we go from being a little loser right here who can't even keep winning, who's probably like low test, to here, and here, then here, then here, then here? How can we do that? Simple. We we win. We just, we win. But we don't have to win at something huge. We don't have to make a million bucks. We don't have to, you know, like climb an Everest. We have to start small. Take a hike to your nearest hill. Um, climb up to the top, and boom, first win, done. Um, post your first YouTube video, boom, done. Um, climb a tree, lift some weights, something small, and then from there you can keep, you know, doing progressive overload, going up and up and up. And that way, we increase our serotonin. We lose our anxiety and depression.